Hello, I come up with a fantastic idea on how to most easily wire connections inside your electrical box for your remote control lawnmower. So let's get started. Normally, I have done the wiring by installing the necessary components in electrical box, like some of them I have here, motor controller, relay board with several relays, remote control receiver, then I mounted the fuse box, uh, terminal block for high current. I usually use two of them for 24 volts and for zero volts, and another terminal block for smaller currents. So then wiring everything together, and you can imagine that in the end it looks pretty messed up. A better solution is to buy such fuse box. That way you have solved the problem of the fuses and the terminals. You connect the main power line with 60 ampere fuse and the high current relay if you want an emergency shutdown and then to the fuse box. From here on, you can connect the motor controller. The special feature of this fuse block is that it has a high current connections for 24 volts and 0 volts, and the individual outputs through fuses, like this one, with different currents according to the individual fuses. At the same time, it has also output terminals for zero volts ready to use. In this way, all the different types of terminals are avoided. The devices that demand high current, like motor controller, you can connect from these two uh, terminals that are for high current. You can connect them in, 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 in parallel, several devices in parallel if you want. That's uh, quite easy made because you have a screw terminal and you can connect several of them together. Then another devices that uh, do not demand such high currents, you can connect here to individual terminals protected with the fuse and zero volt you can connect from those terminals and the devices that require low current, you can connect more of them to the same terminal uh, protected with, with one fuse, like uh, one ampere, maybe two amperes, and also the zero volt for those devices, you can connect more of more cables to, to the same terminal that I have here. I think this solution is very elegant in terms of space consumption in the electrical box, reducing the number of components, resulting in a lower price and improved the compactness of the design. So that's all for today. I have decided to make short video, but still informative one. As usual, if you like my content, uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, uh, write me in the comment section and also check my other videos and uh, have a great day and see you in next video. Bye.